guys, don't I feel bougie up in here? screen with another vlog. I woke up this morning thinking, dang girl, you slept in again. Then I realized it's daylight saving time. We really need to stop doing that. It was for the farmers years ago, but the minority, trust me, a lot of countries stopped doing it, like Antigua, we should be on that type of time, literally. We don't need that. Let's just stay in this time all the time. <laughs> The shit that I'm doing. Oh, this one's sweet as well. I'm not just trying to make it like, I think it'll wake you up. Just be hating all along. Cause they know if I let them hit it, that nigga is gone. Oh, the wine bar that we went to it. Uh, oh, guys, don't I feel bougie up in here? We're taking a couple photographs throughout the day. This is shoot number three. So if you check on my Instagram, you'll see what we've been doing all day. But this place is a whole vibe and it smells like coffee, which is probably why I got myself their twist on espresso martini. Thank you. Thank you. Something and it's easy to work with that. <laughs> I have to come all the way back here because I left my rings in the washroom. I mean, don't let me know. I also love just sitting on the couch watching Netflix. I'm back. Gonna have some tea. I think I really overdid it. I ate way too much, but it was really good. I'm so happy I started off the week like that. Something about spending it in good company with a good person can really set the mood and tone right. He gave me like a real pep talk. So right now I'm gonna do a little bit of non-YouTube work and then I'm gonna spend the next five or six hours editing tomorrow's vlog. It usually takes about seven to eight hours to edit one vlog. So I hope you guys like these, by the way. Yes, so David gave me all of these underwears because they had a whole bunch of extra at his work. I guess they donated them, but like a whole rack worth? He's so funny. He's like, you can wear them and just throw them away. I'm not gonna do that. Of course, I'm gonna wash them all before I wear them. But that's so hilarious. Me avoiding abs. <laughs> the time is flying. My mom's birthday is the first day of spring. I had the weirdest dream last night. I don't even know if I can conceptualize it to explain it to you, but in a nutshell, I was the age I am now, revisiting myself in the past, but not just revisiting my old, younger self and be like, yo, don't do that. Two tunes, don't do that. Also, revisiting people and being like, yeah, that's, that's, I'm from the future. <laughs> I'm like, why am I dreaming of this? Your dreams, I know some people talk about astral projections. I'm not there yet. The fact that I could see well in this dream was mind boggling to me because most times when I dream, I dream with the vision I have currently, which is so annoying. Even in my dreams, I'm still legally blind. I wasn't always legally blind. It didn't make sense to me. If I'm going back in the past, I should be able to see perfectly. No. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. It's a little after two. I'm done the vlog. This has not happened in weeks. And I was actually pretty bad because I was supposed to start editing last night. I only did about an hour instead of four. So I made up for it today because I've been a lot at English. Come on, girl. I've been editing since around, oh, not even. Ew, is this not a whole nugget of mascara? Ow, ow, ow. And I was about to go out my house like this. Also, yesterday, we took so many good photos, the ones I like the most, of course, there's tissue paper on the side of my shirt. So what happened was, I was changing outfits in the washrooms of places we went to, and the tissue done broke off, 
as it was coming off my face and because it's so thin and soft, I didn't notice it until after I was zooming in on the photos, like, what's this? Am I might still post it, you know? Because it has no shame, apparently. If you can see that behind me, it looks like they're filming a the movie because all these people are watching. Oh, I'm done all my returns. It's a little bit after three, so I'm gonna rush home and see how this video is uploading. I'm always looking up and I thought this installation was so pretty. Would you believe I went all the way downtown, ran my errands, came back, and I still have an hour and 17 minutes before this video uploads. Thank God I did not stay home until it went live. Gives me enough time to work on the thumbnail and the tags and the timestamps. So the three holy tea. I don't know what it is about fried rice, but the longer you leave it in the fridge from the day you cooked it, the better off it is. It's almost 8.30. I'm starting to get hungry, but I'm not hungry enough to like eat a whole meal since I just did that like two hours ago because that's how long it took me to respond to all the comments, which thank you again. I always appreciate when you guys take time to comment on my videos. I'm gonna make pepper shrimp. That's what I'm trying to say. When do you not need fresh salt? I don't know why my glasses are on because I haven't been looking at the screen for at least an hour. I just had a nearly three hour conversation with one of my aunties. So good, you can learn so much. They have so many stories. Oh, I was like, where's my rat? This is definitely at this point overcooked. Come take a look. Doesn't really look like pepper shrimp though. <laughs> Looks like pepper fail, but I'm gonna try it and then go to bed. I know you can see what time it is over here. This thing said cook for two minutes. It's been on the stove for over an hour. So <laughs> first of all, I hate that it said recipe, keep the skin on with the legs and preferably head. Thank God these didn't come with heads. If you guys don't know, I am so terrified and scared of shrimp heads, shrimp tentacles, shrimp eyes, even the legs too. I usually just pull them apart as fast as I can. Oh my gosh, okay, let's see. It smells good though, it smells spicy. It's definitely spicy. Woo. Like you're gazing at it and it goes forever and ever and ever and ever. This better not go forever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> As you breathe out, sink in. Three breaths. Doesn't need too much weight. Hold for three. Goes back. Lift it around. Like you're... Can you believe it's snowing again? Spring's not coming anytime soon, is it? Anywho, we're headed to RNG Cafe. I should probably pay attention to the numbers since I can't see them. So I'll check in with you guys when I get there. It's been my thing for the last two weeks, trying to find chic cafes that are not like Starbucks. Thank you. I love this cup. Hey, Yifi. Currently cutting through Dufferin Mall. I wonder if I should go to Walmart and get something. I feel like there's something here I need, but I'm gonna go to the no frills first and on the way back, if I remember, then I'll run in there. Completely forgot they're testing the alarm. Um, that, ba, 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 That cafe was so pretty, I would recommend. I think I'm gonna put it in the TikTok reel. I'm gonna make, is it too, too late to post a TikTok today? No, I think I can. I to Eva Longoria and Jay Shetty a couple months ago on his pod. And she said whenever she's on transit somewhere, she tries to learn a new language, listen to a podcast, learn something. And ever since then, whenever I'm just idle or I pass out on the way back home or going somewhere on the subway, I'm like, girl, you're not driving. You can use your eyes, zoom in, do what you gotta do, be productive. I figured I was in the neighborhood. I would have taken a video, but I didn't intend on going there. It's just that I passed by on my way back home and I was like, oh, I wanted to do this from January. And then I used my points to get it. So shout out to Chloré. I realized when I was coming back home, I'm like, wait, how am I gonna clip this into my head? When my hair is thinning, it's gonna be so obvious where the clips are. Well, we won't know until we do it, right? I gotta do my two pods. Hopefully they're done testing the fire alarm because it's gonna be so awkward if I start going and then... I wanted to try these. So I'm gonna have some of these for my snack. Did it start? Yeah, it did. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the her. I'm excited about the pod. I'm excited about the tea. 
I'm excited about a lot. I'm filming a lot of the B-roll for this video. I figured I might as well show you how I'm gonna get my hair all repent. All I gotta do is pop one of them bad boys. I feel like I got really long hair. I also feel like it was way cheaper than it was. The only thing is like, fresh hair smells so weird. It's like, who owned this before? Who's good this? Why do I ask these questions? Just make the extension if you out. Done. What if I left my house like this? Curtain of hair. I don't want my hair to be stupidly long. Like obviously, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm so behind. I don't remember it taking so long last time. But then again, me trying to find the angles with that camera. I just want to show you something before I clean up a little bit. So you can see the disaster on the floor. I took my old hair extensions. Now these are from when I started YouTube in 2011. Moral of the story is I want to show you how thick my hair has, was. <laughs> I'm showing you how thick my hair was. Okay, I used to have this bundle and it matched. Not just the texture, but the thickness of my hair. You see this? Now check this out. When I finish this, <laughs> this is so sad. And this now matches the texture and thickness of my hair. You can see, clearly, clearly. The construction. Guys, I literally cannot. And don't judge the one piece of weave I have in my hair. I'm still not done. We want to use our time wisely to unfold and engage in things that will encourage and instill us to be better senses of ourselves. It's a little after 4.30. I was editing a couple of videos. Nothing's going to be out today. The video I want to do today, I'm not sure if I want to make it a compilation or the first out of one for a series. When you see it, you'll know. But I saw someone comment on an older version of the video that I did. We're going to make tacos even though it's not Tuesday. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but then your girl got sidetracked and I was like, you know what? I have so much meal prep I should probably go through first. So that's what I did. Coriander and cilantro are the same thing. Shallots and green onions are. What else has a dual name? So foggy all day. I'm finally out, just getting some air, and it's giving Sleepy Hollow vibes over here. Oh, I love Great and Barrel. It's so pretty in here. Should I get something like this? Oh. You know I'm obsessed with glassware, so I'm living for this. Look at this. Hold up. Are you seeing this? Uh, you can stay right here. I've never been to this store before. My glasses. Could have gotten home and hungry. My meat has had enough time to marinate, so we can make these tacos. I'm craving spicy fries, so I think I'm gonna put those on the side. It's so strange that we're living through a pandemic, but the malls are packed. Tell me if this makes sense. I'm gonna fry this when the first bit of that nasty oil that always comes out of beef that stinks so much comes out. I'm gonna pour it out, and then I'm gonna put the marinade in and let it soak in some more. That's not how the directions or recipe goes, but we'll see how this goes. So happy I ran all my errands in good timing today. I went to four different stores to run all the errands I needed to run. I did a little snippet, but I'm not sure if it came out. I tried to do a whole little intro while I was mixing this smoothie because we did something a little different today, but my phone had other plans. The lashes are the hardest part because I can't see them until they get thick, but then by that point, you're running the risk of making them clumpy. This one here, over here, I realized from brushing my curls way too much, I lost a chunk here, and that's why this strand is just out on its own. All right. 
I think that's good enough, right? My little adventure. I wandered to the LCBO, the prettiest one in Summerhill. And bing, I found this. You know how long I've been looking for Bailey's Colada? They released this a year ago, uh, a year ago. And it was not in stock in Ontario. My brother texted me and I finally put together what I saw earlier and I thought it back in my mind. It's St. Patrick's Day. I was looking at the Irish pub and I'm like, why is it extra decorated? This is me giving up on my hair. Morning guys, you know what else I gave up on? My gym session. I got off the elliptical 10 minutes before I was done because I just was not feeling well. I said, don't push yourself, girl. I feel lightheaded. I got a lot of kale to go through. I was watching some YouTube videos yesterday. This is how you know I'm getting old. On how to keep different types of herbs and veggies fresh. Like you're supposed to wash and pat dry your lettuce and your kale and put them in resealable bags with a little bit of air poking through. I said I never knew. Wash your strawberries in apple cider vinegar. I hate the smell of apple cider vinegar, so I'm just going to ex-nay that. And then you're supposed to put your cilantro in jars like this. This looks disgusting to me though. As you can see in the back, I've been trying to do a little bit of work, but I'm just not in the mood. It took half an hour to do one thing. So I'm just walk away, a eh? walk away. I made this coffee and it's just not hitting the way I want it to. Maybe because I was thinking about a chai latte. You know me, I'm not really big into chai, but I want to give it another try. So I'm thinking about going to a cafe. I think it's either called Coffee Lunar or Cafe Lunar. Whatever it is, it's not too far from here. It's a sunny day. We'll take a little break there, get back home, get back in the zone. So that's what we're going to do. don't even know how I ended up here, but this is pretty. I think this is it. <laughs> yeah, there's a crescent there. It's so weird walking in these neighborhoods I haven't been in a while and seeing everything closed. I'm happy I went out, just happy all around. It got a little chilly on the way back. I said 12 degrees, who? Mm -hmm. It was it was nice when I left, but yesterday was definitely warmer. Anyway, I'm gonna edit a video, upload it tonight. Usually I upload earlier than now, but I'm just in the mood of posting it, getting it out, and seeing how you guys like it. So that's what your girl's gonna do. That cafe was real quaint, real chic. Do 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 do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watching a lot of TikToks in the cafe. It's so funny that I don't use social media like everybody else. I don't just watch it for entertainment. I'm like trying to figure out what gets people to click, to stay, to engage, to comment, all that stuff. I'm trying to figure it out like a machine or something. For last year I was interviewed by Kayone from Audacious. Really good pod, you should check it out. So I was listening to this one about jury duty and it had me thinking about things I never thought about. Luckily, I've never been sequestered. Is that the term? I don't know. When you get called to do jury duty, never that. I don't know what it is, but he gives me predator vibes. My laundry bag's broke. This is how we're starting the day. This is beyond ghetto. I'm so annoyed, guys. I still haven't memorized them yet. <laughs> I'm so happy I didn't have any videos scheduled today. The sun never came out. Editing a video and a reel and a TikTok at the same time. So now I'm eating lunch, but I just stepped out, like I said, to get the oat milk and a couple things that I need for tonight's meal, making Caribbean chow mein. So that's on the roster. But first, 
tea. I almost want to end the vlog here because I know what I'm going to do is start editing the weekly vlog because I might actually put it up tomorrow. But no, I won't end just yet. I might do a little self-care montage.